Have you ever felt that you knew what someone was going to say just before he said it? Or have you ever stepped into a strange room and had the sensation you'd been there before? If you have, you've taken a small step beyond. Now watch a giant step. It begins here, in Wandsworth Prison near London. The year, 1895. Our principal player is one John Marriott. Today is a big day in his life. He's to be hanged. Johnny lad, no need for you to look at that, you know. Here. Have a smoke. Come on, Johnny boy, you'll go. When do they come for me? Uh, six. What time is it now? Well, I don't know. Five thirty. <gasps> Does it take long? What? Oh, <laughs> nah. How long? How long? Well, I don't know. A couple of minutes, maybe. <laughs> now, come on, Johnny, my boy. There's no need for you to be afraid. Who's afraid? <laughs> well, a bloke as popular with the ladies as what you was. What do you mean, was? I ain't there, Jess. I am the executioner, sir. At your service. This is my assistant. It's not time yet. You're quite correct, sir. You have exactly 21 minutes. <coughs> Will you please step on this scale now? What do you need my weight for? Eleven stone, sir. Eleven stone? Seventy-one inches. Seventy-one inches? Thank you, John Marriott. Johnny boy. Don't want it. It's your very last breakfast. Take that slop away. I don't want it. Can't look at it. Uh, 
I don't. Are you all right, my son? Is there anything I can do for you? Anything you wish? Any final confession you want to make? She just sat there with her head thrown back laughing at me like I was some kind of worm or something. I didn't mean to kill her, I swear I didn't. But the way she laughed when I caught her with that dandy filuka, all I could see was her throat. I just grabbed it. I grabbed it. And all the time she kept laughing. Her mouth, her voice, I can hear it now. Screaming. Her hands scratching at me. Well, maybe she wasn't laughing. Maybe she was only screaming. Sure, there was Phil Hooker, she screamed. And there was Patty O'Neill. And everybody in London knows all about that. Ooh, ooh, it, it was like a bomb exploding in my ear. I fell went out of my mind. The Lord is merciful to all his poor sinners. Oh, I know, I know I'm a sinner. Oh, I know the things I've done. Really, if I ever really started to confess. Do you know what I've done once? I never told nobody this. I pushed a blind beggar into the gutter and I rubbed his tin cup. There was eight pennies and four shillings and half a crown. I meant to pay him back every cent, but I never did. I went to Epsom, see? And I laid a wager on a nag named Alma's Eyes. <laughs> that nag is still running. There was this sweet old lady there, see, and she'd never seen a race before. So I swapped my ticket with hers, and hers was a winner. Paid 15 to 1. That week, I crawled through every pub from here to Whitehall. That was the week I met Alma. I know, I never should have touched that blind man. I never should have touched Alma. The things I do because a lady has a pretty pair of eyes. But I can't help myself. Please. Please don't let him hang me. You must be brave, my son. Please. John Marriott, send your feet. Pray. Pray. I can't. Try that. I can't. I can't! I can't! The Lord is my
For all your goodness and mercy, follow me all the days of my life. I really are, don't. I've been the executioner for 19 years and it's never happened before, sir. We examine that rope very thoroughly, as we always do. Well, how is he, Doctor? Oh, he's coming around. It was merely shock. There's no physical damage at all. Are you quite certain? Quite. Then let's get on with the execution. You're wasting your time, Governor. If you think that I'm going to die on your blasted gallows, you've got another thing coming, because I'm not. Marriott. I'm sorry about the accident, but the court has sentenced you to be hanged. But that's the point, Governor. It wasn't no accident. Let's get on with it. Ain't nobody here can kill me. Not if you tried for a hundred years and a hundred ways. Not you. Not you. Not the executioner. Not nobody. I said, let's get on with it. Hold on, hold on. I haven't had any breakfast. But what are you going to do, hang me without giving me any grub? I thought you said you didn't want any. Oh, now I do. <laughs> Some healthy for a man to miss his breakfast. All right, but hurry. Oh, good. I haven't had a meal like this since the trial. Gee. You blokes don't hardly give a man time to stow his grub, do you? Would you stand, please? I don't mind. Hey! Hey, you blokes are just wasting your time. If you want to know why, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> don't you forget to have a nice lunch waiting for me. I want some roly-poly pie. Hey, where's my brandy? I want me brandy. What kind of a hanging is this? Don't follow me all the days of my life. Tonight. Save your breath, Vicar. They're not hanging me. <laughs> You're wasting time, man. You really are. <laughs> oh, now, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that's my lucky number. Oh, no, I don't want that. You sure you don't want the wood? Might make it easier for you. I don't need it any easier, mate. All right. This time, just to make sure, we'll try it once more. Ready? Wasting your time, boys. You sure you don't want the hood? No, I don't want the hood. Go a little to the left, a little to the left. Getting so good at this job, I think I might become the executioner. Ooh, that's tight. Enough. 
Take him back to his cell. <laughs> the man who can't be hanged. <laughs> but why? <laughs> uh, why do you think they're unable to hang you, Mr. Marriott? Ooh, maybe there's a good angel watching over me. More than likely it's the devil, I'd say. Oh, I don't much mind who's watching over me, angel or devil. Just so long as it's somebody with influence. As a matter of fact, quite a lot of people with influence are interested in you, Mr. Marriott. Oh. Your case has been debated right now in the House of Commons. Mr. Gladstone thinks that you should be set free, that you've suffered enough. <laughs> well, now, that makes two of us. <laughs> uh, but seriously, Mr. Marriott, don't you have some theory as to why you couldn't be hanged? Do I know why I couldn't be hanged? <laughs> and if one of your iron mighty papers is willing to pay... Uh, 500 quid for the information? 500 pounds? <laughs> That's not very likely. <laughs> then I'm not very likely to tell. <laughs> oh. I wager you hate to see me go away, Governor. I hate to see anyone make justice look foolish. Oh, come now, Governor, don't take on so. If you was to put me up on that there gallows 50 times, you still couldn't hang me. Now, go on home, Marriott. You want another try at me neck, Governor? I'd be glad to oblige. Now, get out of here. You're smart not to take me up, Governor, because I'd win sure as I'm standing here. You know how I know? Well, you listen, and I'll tell you. Just when they was... When they was pulling that hood over my head, and the rope snapped, I saw how old John Marriott was going to die. And it wasn't on no gallows. I said, get out. <laughs> it's your jail, Governor. Now go home, will you? I'm going to die in a most amazing way, Governor. In a most remarkable way. More for Marley or two. Don't let them ruby lips get dry. <laughs> you know, when they take you to the gallows, they offer you a glass of brandy. Now, ain't that sweet of them? Oh, I bet you had the old bottle, eh, Johnny? Almost. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen their faces when them gallows wouldn't work. That blue and executioner, he kept kicking, kicking that release bolt till I thought he'd have a stroke. You with that noose around your neck. Weren't you scared? Scared? What for? They couldn't hang me. Not if they try till doomsday. Oh, come off it, Johnny. How could you know? Devil himself whispered in my ear. Johnny! Oh, Miss! Johnny. Where Johnny. have you been, oh, you blooming Johnny. like a rose? You know what's oh, going in here? Oh, Will Cooper! Did you miss me while I was Johnny. in the jungle? Johnny, Johnny, Will, he's coming, he's coming. Come on, give us a kiss. Oh. Johnny, he's got a gun. Come on, Liz. Have an ale. Two ales, Georgie. One for Liz and one for Will when he gets here. Ain't you afraid he'll kill you? Will? No. Will's a mouse, not a lion. You want to know how I'm going to die? I'll tell you. There's only one way I can die. One way and no other. Now, get around. Get around the I tell you about my vision. Though the press offer me 500 quid, I won't charge you a farthing. John, John. Old Johnny Marriott's going to die at the foot of a lion right here on the streets of London. That's how it's going to be, I know. I was standing there on them gallows. I was standing there with that white hood over my head. And I heard them release the lever and I heard them trap doors swinging open and I felt myself falling. And while I was falling, the inside of that hood lit up like a million candles. And there I was lying dead at the feet of a lion right here on the streets of London. And I knew. I knew that's how it had to be. That way and no other. Turn around, John. Not the rail, Georgie. If you think you can kill my sister and go scot-free, you've got another thing coming. 
Too much head on that ale, Georgie. Turn around, John, or I'll shoot you right in the back! That's better, Georgie. Huh? Hey! Hey, you know... You know Alma Cooper? That girl what I strangled? Well, I hear her brother's looking for revenge. Now, you tell him, will you? You tell him that if Alma were alive, I'd kill her again right now. She deserved everything she got. And you deserve what you're gonna get, John Marriott. Try it again, Will. <clears throat> you couldn't hurt me. You couldn't hurt me with a cannonball. Not with a whole regiment of grenadiers to back you up. You couldn't hurt me unless you could bring the jungles of Africa up here to London. Well, that's how wake you Now lift up that pistol and I'll shoot. symbol of Britain. 